Hello friends, Samuel Graham doing TCGs yet again, continuing my second case of Uprising. Going to see if we can uh, find the value we left behind a little bit on the last one. It wasn't too bad, uh, last two boxes rather. It wasn't too bad, we'll go ahead and get both of these de-plastic. But just nothing quite super, super fiery yet. Looking for like a... Uh, one of the majestic marvels or something like that. Haven't seen it yet. So, let's see what we can do here today. Let's see what we can do. Let's go, wish me luck. Succumb to winter and invoke Thamai. Got a dragon there. Got dust up for a common foil. <laughs> and right there in the back, we got a another rare marvel. A dragon invoke Chromai. Which looks awesome. Uh, those marvels are so good looking. I love it. Let's scoot that over there a little bit. Give us some space. First pack. First pack magic. Getting us some marvelous stuff. See what I did? That was good. Just some rares that time around. So how's everybody else pulling? Getting good stuff out of Uprising. What are you playing? Had good luck playing sealed, playing uh, constructed. What you got going on? Let me know in the comments. Played a not draft but sealed game with uh, Dromai and had a lot of fun with that. Um, uh, I wasn't good at it. I lost every match. But uh, I almost... I almost had a match against Phi. There's Necria. And a common rainbow foil slipper. Um, just completely ran out of gas at the end. Ran out of any ability to do any damage. Which probably was my fault building from my sealed pool, but hey, whatever. What do you do? Channel Bleak Expanse. That is our first majestic of this opening. Critical strike. No rare foils yet. No majestic foils yet, but we do already have a rare marvel. I don't know if that's the technically correct terminology for it, rare marvel, but it seems to make sense. We got Mira Guy for a dragon. Because it is the Marvel version of a rare dragon. There are, of course, majestic dragons. Transmogrify. We got Red Hot. And Rise from the Ashes, our first foil rare. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And there we go. Cold foil. Legendary Crown of Providence. I think that is the legendary to see. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. We're feeling good about that now. We are feeling really good about that. We're still early in this video. Well, who knows what else we're going to find. Ice Eternal. Vincerakai. A cool looking dragon. Who knows what else we're going to find. Hitting that legendary right off the bat. I mean. Short of the fabled. I think that is. 
That's one of the best hits I could have hoped for. It might be the best hit short of a fabled. Whew. That does put a smile on my face. So come to winter, there is an in case. For another majestic. Rake the embers. Weather vein, Uvia. I don't even know why I'm still looking in the back. I ain't gonna find nothing else as good as the legendary, am I? Am I? Succumbing to winter for a rare foil. Still no uh, majestic rainbow foil. Mounting Anger. Take the tempo for another Majestic, though. And Burn Away. It is possible that I'm going through things too fast. If I am, tell me in the comments, and I will work to slow down going forward. There's Yender Eye again. A cool-looking dragon. Engulfing Flame Wave for a rare foil. This box is like, just give up. You've already seen what I've got. Come on. Red Hot. Vincerakai again. Critical Strike. And nothing fancy back there. I've given up my secrets. You'll find nothing else here. Flex, Weather Vane, Brand, and as expected, nothing. Oh, that's one of the fun things about this, though, is you've got the two spots where there can be a monster hit. Um, and I really like that. Arctic Incarceration. So you've got to pay attention to those tokens. And I'm not sure I've done a great job of that. I'm absolutely going to have to go through all of my tokens before I start set sorting stuff. First time I've seen this card in person either is Frightmare. I'm not sure how great it actually is. I'm going to have to look at it and see if it's something that will ever, ever, ever see play in my deck. But it's intriguing, and it's got a 13 attack. It does, however, have Phantasm, but... It's interesting in that you can play it only if you've already been phantasmed. So you're kind of hoping they already gave up what they could. And there's another Majestic. It is a Semblance. Which negates Phantasm. Which is also a neat trick. Tough to get the gas you need. Like the resources and everything to... Be able to get Semblance and Frightmare out at the same turn since you also have to play another one. Um, so I'm not sure how likely that is to play out. Alright, I was curious for a second. So that was a Double Strike Majestic, but right behind it is a Foil Majestic Rewind. I saw it popping up and so I was curious if it was going to be the backwards alternate version. It is not, but that is quite all right as well. We're happy with any majestic foil, aren't we? Rise from the ashes, rise up. Lots of rising going on there. Fine. Mm -hmm. Phoenix form? Phoenix? Something? Something with a phoenix? Losing my mind. We got Dampen, Rise from the Ashes, Sigil of Permafrost for a rare foil, and nothing in the back. All right, that was the last pack of box one. Let's move on into the second box. Whew. 
Whew. I don't think it's going to top the first one, that's for sure. Rapid Reflex. We got Mirror Guy. We got a Senapai. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat Cold Foil Crown of Providence. That's all I know to say. That's a pretty tall order. Mounting Anger, Strategic Planning. A pretty dang fiery. There's a Majestic, first of this box for Vipox. hey -oh! And then, what were we just talking about? How there are two slots that can bring a ton of value. We've got the Rainbow Foil Legendary Coronet Peak. So, two legendaries in this case. That is wonderful. That is pretty excellent. Rise from the Ashes, Kyloria, and Flame Call. Whew! That's why you gotta check both of them slots. This legendary. <laughs> this legendary. This opening is legendary, is where I think I was going with that. It is both literally and figuratively true in this case. And we still got that Marvel Chrome Eye. We got a combustion point for our second Majestic. With a rear foil mounting anger behind it. Whew. This opening has a smile on my face. Dampen. Regular Chrome Eye. Oasis Respite, and nope. So I think we've seen two Majestics this box so far. Yep. But we got a Rainbow Foil Legendary. Permafrost. Flex. Frosting. Not quite halfway through this one yet, but we're coming up on it. Mounting Anger, Transmogrify, and a Blue Rare Weather Vane. So I've mentioned it before. So theoretically, it is possible because of the two different slots. Hey, Fog Down for Majestic. It is possible to get like a Legendary and a Fabled, theoretically, in the same pack of... One of them rainbow foil, one of them cold foil. You could get the same legendary in each in the same pack. You know how rare that would be. You could theoretically end up with both versions of the fabled in the same pack. Now that would be astronomically rare. Um, to the point that I don't even know if it would ever actually happen. But there's a dragon. Transmogrify for a foil. And a common cold foil quelling robe. Yeah, the dragon gets top bill in there. You know what? It can sit over here for now. Not because of that, but because I want it in view. And that's a better spot for it. You could... Astronomically impossible. Like, but you could get the same get the fabled in the same pack that would be pretty neat to see happen i would lose it like i don't even know what i would do i don't know how to handle that mentally <laughs> rise from the ashes there's a majestic that's rewind which might be good what's it Negate target non-attack action card and return it to its owner's hand. Then that here gains an action point. That's pretty good though, because at that point they've already they've already paid for it, like pitched for it. So if they had to pitch a lot, they might still be toast. Like they get the card back, sure. It mitigates the pain. Mirror guy. 
But uh, it still leaves them in a pickle as far as being able to kind of recover from that. Might buy you a turn when they have to rebuild. There's a rainbow foil common. That's tied flippers. Weather vane. We got another dragon. We got Kyloria. Sigil of protection. And nothing back there. I can't be too greedy. This case, so these two box, this opening has had two legendaries. That's two boxes out of the same case. Each one had a legendary. Um, and we got a Majestic, Insidious Chill. So I can't be, I mean, I guess I can. There have definitely been sets like Everfest where people were popping up with multiple legendaries in the same box. I think I've heard of somebody in this set getting multiple legendaries in the same pack. Like, I think that has happened. Um... Ooh, okay. So I ran through this too fast. Rise from the Ashes. We got Chrome Eye, another dragon. But a rainbow foil tome of Firebrand. Tomes are always awesome. You know what's more awesome than a tome? A foil tome. Looks like we're into the... Already well into the last quarter of this box. I think I see... Four, yeah, four packs left after this one. Healing Balm for a common foil. Nothing else there. Ha! You know, even if nothing else comes out of these last four packs, I... I can't argue with this opening. Good grief. This one, this was a good one. A multi-legendary experience. Rise. Asvali. Strategic planning. Rare foil. Damp it. Frost hex for another majestic. And last pack. Did the last pack save us any last pack magic? Last pack magic. Transmogrify. Rise from the ashes. Aether Ice Vein. And no, it did not. But that is more than okay. Goodness. Because let's start from the top, shall we? Crown of Providence. The cold foil version of that legendary. Coronet Peak. For a rainbow foil legendary. Chromai for the Marvel version of the rare dragon. Quelling Robe. Cold foil. Common. We got two majestic rainbow foils. We got Rewind and Toma Firebrand. And then, did we get our usual 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right on 12. We got Frost X, Chill, Rewind, Fog Down, Combustion, Vipox, Double Strike, Semblance, Frightmare, Take the Tempo, Encase, and Channel Bleak Expanse. So a pretty good variety of it on top of that. <sighs> this one made me happy. That puts a smile on my thank face. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. I appreciate you humoring me and seeing some of my thrills as I pull some awesome stuff. I appreciate you. Like and subscribe if you like what you see. And thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day. I always appreciate your time. Bye, y'all.